How many is it, Mr Hancock? It's 50,000. But uh, look, we have talked about it. It's not quite 50,000, Yes, is it? it is. Well, 19,000 of whom are already in no, post, Mr Hancock. I, I Good morning, wa- I trust you're well. <laughs> yeah, I'm, how are you? Really well, good to talk you. again. Yes, and yes. it's just absolutely fantastic to be straight out of the traps after the general election, uh, it, immediately getting on with this task of strengthening the NHS. And we made these commitments to the NHS in our manifesto and in our campaign, uh, some of which you heard there yes. us discussing yesterday at Cabinet. And I, I can tell you we are absolutely determined to deliver on them. Uh, and one of the commitments was to increase the number of nurses in the NHS by 50,000, 50,000 more nurses. And I, if I can explain how we're going to 19, do that. 19,000 of whom are retained. Quite. So the way that you increase the number of nurses in the NHS is a combination of hiring new nurses, and we're pushing ahead on that today with the announcement of this new training grant, and I'm sure we'll come on to yes, discuss sure. that. Very yes, important. Sure. Yep. The, then the deadline for applications, if you want to be a nurse and go in uh, in, in September in this fun, in this uh, academic year, is, is the middle of January. So wow. I hope that lots of Skates people listening on. will be thinking about it and thinking this extra financial support might help them to be able to apply to be a nurse. So you do, of course, increase the number of nurses in the NHS by hiring new nurses, but also at the moment... As far as I'm concerned, too many nurses are leaving the NHS. Mm. And by reducing the number who leave with better retention packages and a better uh, culture of support within the NHS, then you also have more nurses in the NHS. So even if we didn't do any of the new recruitment, if you stop people from leaving... Uh, and about half of nurses leave before retirement age, if I can reduce that number of nurses leaving, then you have more nurses in the NHS. And what matters for patients is, is there a nurse at their bedside? I see. Uh, and, and that's the, so it's the difference between a net and a gross figure. And I know that there's been some um, uh, uh, muddle in the media about this. but It's, it's always our fault. It, it's, it, well, I do get messages uh, after coming on shows like this, people texting me saying, you're absolutely crystal clear about it. I just hope that everybody can understand that uh, more is different from new tell me how or more importantly tell listeners and indeed potential nurses how do the bursaries work and how work might they apply yes yeah, so the bursary the new um the new training grant is uh, is at least five thousand pounds for every student nurse up to eight thousand pounds with the top-ups if you're going into an a- into a, a, an area a specialism where we have particular shortages for instance mental health nurses or if you're in the part of a con- uh, part of the country where we have acute shortages, D- or if you does this reflect areas that have quotes lent you their votes then in a way? Uh, well, we'll 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 do that on the basis of where there are uh, shortages of where the shortages of nurses are most. Acute. So it's not just for the north and the midlands. This this is a that's nation. right. Okay, that's right. right. Mm-hmm. And then and then thirdly, if you need childcare, because actually you know since the changes a couple of years ago that you mentioned. Uh, and the nursing bursary was taken yes. away. Which was a mistake, wasn't it? Well, uh, we're clearly making the decision to introduce the training now, grant let's be, now. We're all grown-ups now. Yeah. We can say it was a mistake in 2016. Um, I understand the reasons it was done, but we're a new government, and we're putting that training grant can't, back in. You can't say the word mistake. Well, that's because I don't like to... I, I tend to be a positive politician, as you know, and I like to. Uh, right. I don't like to criticise. Okay. I like to build on what is needed to be done right now. But it's but, very clear from the policy choices that I've made as health secretary that we are, is, we are, we so are bringing back no, that no, training nurses, plan, But I'm, I'm not going to criticise my uh, predecessors. Stu- student nurses get a bursary, reason. and I'll ask you for details in a moment, but yeah. they still, as, as I read here, health secretary, they still have to pay their tuition fees at around £10,000 per annum. Is that correct? Well, the tuition fees policy is the same right across the board, and the key is that this extra money is on top of all the existing support. So there is existing support, for instance, for uh, some of the clinical placements that you have to do as a nurse. For uh, There's existing support for childcare, and the support we're introducing today for childcare is in addition. All of this is in addition to the existing uh, way of financing uh, yourself through a nursing degree, so including the loans that are available for, for instance, for tuition, yes. uh, and including the 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 grants, including a hardship grant that's available for some. Uh, so this is entirely additional on top of the existing support that's available, and it almost doubles the support that's available for student nurses. 